Our camera lens trained on one man amid rumours that he's leaving the club. He starts today live on EA TV. And welcome to the Liberty Stadium in Swansea, the venue for this match. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis, is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you the cut and thrust of the championship. It's Swansea City, and they take on Carlisle United. Well, Derek, we're looking forward to this game. You can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Always difficult to predict in advance who might decide a game, but you could make a strong case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, Derek, he's a great all-round player, but it's his ability to run in behind defenders that makes him such a threat. And when he gets 1v1 against the goalkeeper, he usually scores. Dissect the Swansea City lineup. Well, they've got a good front three and a solid back five, but with only two in midfield, they could get overrun. It'll be interesting to see who comes in to support them, if anybody. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers, so it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. And the match is underway. He's beaten his man. Well, maybe I wrote him off too quickly. Good defending in the end. And a goal at Bramall Lane, I'm hearing. Alex Scott can tell us all about it. Yep, it... And the keeper able to hold on to it. Well, Alex was in full flight. Alas, we had to cut her off just moments ago. Just to confirm, West Brom have scored in that match. They now lead by one goal to nil. An important interception. Bulat. And Campos. Well, a long-distance effort and a highly respectable one, Stuart. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. It's a decent effort, you have to say. Jamie Patterson. What can they do from here? And the keeper making sure there were no scraps for them to feed on. Throw-ins given. Well, sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Campos. Rodriguez. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. And using his body to good effect. Take it away. We're getting the ball forward. Could be troublesome. And a goal to open the scoring. No wonder they're celebrating.
Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. Right over to Alex Scott for an update. There's been a goal, Alex, at the Riverside. Yep, it's a goal for Middlesbrough. It's now 1-0 with 28 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. And Campos. Bulat. Is it going to end up being productive for them? That's not a bad ball. Well, he got the touch on the ball, and so a corner it'll be. Keen to take it short here. Determined defending. They've regained possession. Now shot happy here. Goalkeeper doing his job, getting the touch. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. It's a short one. Firing it in. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. And played short. Takes the shot. Well, he had a lot of ground to cover. Splendid save. And taken short. Has a go. And a goal! They've increased their lead. And they don't want to be throwing it away from here. Well, here's the replay. It's certainly a well-delivered ball into the area. And then what a finish. That's been hit with such power and pace. The keeper has no time to react. It's a brilliant strike. Well, a second goal for them here. Jamie Patterson. Using his physical strength to shield it. Strong but fair tackle. Well, if you're wondering about out of time, two minutes it'll be. Well, just couldn't keep the ball. Bulat. And with that, the first half draws to a close. Whatever we... As anticipated, plenty of talking points so far. And now the second half is underway. Pulat. Campos. Well, they keep the ball moving. But just like that, possession changes hands. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? Well, couldn't find a teammate, unfortunately. And a throw-in to come. A lot of talk in the newspapers and on the internet about Leicester City. And they have finally got their man. The transfer has officially gone through. Well, at a price tag of around £80 million, they've certainly got a player of the highest quality. And I'm sure he'd be a great asset for them. I can't wait to see how he fits in. Bulat. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. No spillage from the goalkeeper. Routine. Evans. Well, an easy one to cut out, really. Well, as you can see, the visitors have had most of the ball and as a result have dominated the game. Some of their passing movements have been a joy to watch and I don't think anything's going to change that. So after that, a goal kick it'll be. They will now. They'll make use of the substitutes bench. Number 24, Morgan Whitaker, to be replaced by number 20, Liam Cullen.
Walsh. Carabao Cup excitement to look forward to live here on EA TV. It's Swansea City facing Reading. Well, the cup always whets the appetite, and that one's no different. Oh, hang on, Stuart, it's a chance. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Patterson. Poor attempt at a pass, really. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. And it looked like open road for them, but up a dead end. Jamie Patterson. Keeping the ball moving. Liam Walsh. He takes aim. Really good diving save. Well, these fans can sense an opportunity here. They need to make the most of this corner. And they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. And no-nonsense defensive clearance. Well, possibilities in the centre. Well, I'm hearing someone has scored in the Nottingham Forest game. Alex Scott, fill us in. It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. It's now 1-0 with 76 minutes on the clock. Opportunity it is. A goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now. Just check. And in with a real chance. And it goes! Such a complete performance. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. And goal news to bring you from the Sheffield United match. Alex Scott can tell us more. Yep, it's a goal for Sheffield United. It was a free kick that deflected off the wall and the goalkeeper had no chance with that one. They are now behind 2-1. And he's made headway. Oh, yes! The cheekiest of backflicks. Wonderful goal. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And just look at that finish. It's clever, it's audacious, and it's well taken. That's a great goal. Oh, my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Ryan Manning. Another perfect position to read it. There will be three minutes added on at the end. For Mario Barrow. Crossing possibilities. Well, he really read that brilliantly. And there it is, the full-time whistle here, and it's a victory for the visitors. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening, and they played really well. What a performance that was today.